Shame I have to roll the cream for it, but... Just look at this play, man. This is one of the best plays I've ever made. We ruin this. We ruin this. <laughs> I'm loving this card, man. But again, look at the value there, man. That's huge. So good, having a bit of move. Yo, what's up? It's Specimen. Real quick intro before you see the gameplay. This is what I've been playing around with today on stream. It's a Visigard list with, the, of course, Romvid Revenants. Visigard in the list has got to be the way to go, man, for just higher power potential. The deck I shared yesterday or the other day, so consistent, but I just found myself not winning the long rounds I was expecting. So, again, I'm mixing it up, man. I don't know. Like, I'm, Eventually, I'll get there, but super quickly, anyway, the War Chariot... I'm just loving this card and it's so much fun. Like, no one expects it. Um, I've got soldier pockets. With the crew ability, you just need two soldiers, which I've got so many. Ronvid, of course, being one as well that's going to come back in round three. Just makes it really easy round two, round three. Especially when you're marching orders marching orders for him. You've got John as well as another soldier. Maulers, temple guards. So really, really easy to get pockets, right? Um, so if you've got the pocket, it uses both abilities. So you get a bleed for four turns and you get to move a unit. Like, just so good, man. Like, moving cards is just so underrated and no one sees it coming in uh, Northern Realms. I say it's underrated. Obviously, it's not. Like, there's movement cards in many factions, but we just don't have it in NR. But this is the one option and it's a really solid option in this list, honestly. Like, I just love it, man. If you've got a Skelliger ship, you can move it to the back row. Even, like, just catching your opponent off guard and, like, filling their their back row up so they can't oak in that row. Also, you can sort of line up Ignis with it, like, for sure. Like, if your Ignis dead, you can move this, one of the cards to a different row. It might not necessarily, like, line it up to get you a good Igni, but it's going to give you Igni value, right? So, really, really uh, useful in this list, man. Like, just absolutely love it, man. Really, really loving it. Really, 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 really loving it. The only other card I was using that's crew as well is this Siege Adder. Quite, quite nice for putting a Mauler back in if it gets moved. Or if your back row of Revenants is full after your um, Draug, you can like, move a Revenant to a, an empty space in the front row. Unfortunately, though, that's normally useful round three, and you're always mulliganing this card round three, to be honest. So that's why I ditched it. I do definitely want to mess around, though, with uh, playing that Siege Ladder and playing some Archers in a more um, like Forbidden Magic orientated control kind of mobilization list. This one is definitely more boost orientated. So we've got the Temple Guards, the Enchantresses for some solid boost, these being soldiers as well. Still got the Double Oil and John package. Because to be honest, when you're playing Visigard, your round three is so good, man, because you can line up some filthy Ignis in round three. Um, even without the initiative, you can just line the back row up. You can try and line the front row up like decently to make like at least like a, at least like a 12 point Igni or something. And they can't play a card in both rows to block Igni in both rows. Right? So even without the initiative, uh, Visigard really can get you that unreal Igni value that just wins you the game. We've still got the Pella. Like, I didn't have the Pella in the last list, so that's a big bonus. You could also just run like a Bomb Heaver in here, but I don't think the Bomb Heaver really saves us that, that much, honestly, since I'm running Igni. Like, it's not a big deal. Like The poison's annoying, but it's not that good against us. But yeah, this is the list. I'm not going to talk for too long. Um... I think John's just great, man. Like I'm already using reinforcements and I'm already using boiling oil since I'm not using Philippa. I'm definitely using double oil. I'm not using Philippa because it blocks the marching orders. So uh, yeah, this is the list. I'm really, really happy with it. I mean, down here as well, instead of the Enchantresses, you could easily go, like I say, a Siege Ladder. Scytheman's pretty good and Royal Guard. Again, the reason I've not gone for Scytheman is it just makes my Mulligans kind of awkward at times. And to be honest, like my Mulligans are already very sketchy having Marching Orders and Igni in the list. So trying to minimize uh, Mulligan, bad Mulligans is uh, pretty important, especially because you can brick your hen cell and stuff like that too. Um... Royal Guard is the other real option. The reason I've not gone for it is because even though it's a soldier, like it's good round three, but it's not that good round one. Whereas like, I feel like we need more power round one. And Enchantress is a nice card round one, man. You never mulligan this card really round one, whereas you might mulligan this round one. So yeah, I feel like the Enchantress is the way to go. Uh, pretty good. And also gives you like a backup option in your added layer and your reinforcements for, for that value if you don't find the Vanguards. I was feeling like with the uh, Royal Guards, I was too dependent on Vanguards round one. Uh, to have a chance at winning the round. And you really want to try and keep these anyway to, if your opponent tries to bleed you round two or just for your uh, drag round three. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I didn't want to talk for too long. Yeah, if you want to see more Gwent content, please do subscribe. And I'm streaming every day on my Twitch channel as well. Loads more uh, Revenants shenanigans because this is just fun, man. Like It's so much funner than playing, uh, you know, Poison and all that nonsense. This is, this is where it's at for me. So yeah, much love. Enjoy the video. War Chariot, I love you.
my new favourite card at the moment. It's the flavour of the day. Anyway, it's, it's really fun, man. It's a really good card. Nice one. Definitely need to get some good stuff out of him round one. At least I've got the old Ron vid boy though, right? Maybe we could just play through him pass, but... I think we just need to try and get some decent stuff out of him. That's always a thunder, right? I do think the rev was wrong to keep though. Rev's good in your hand going in the second round, but not first round. It's just pretty pointless here, right? Now, obviously, this is a question if I'm fallible in. Guess I'm gonna fallible. I can't need to it now. I think I, I think I don't fallible. Let's get the entrances down. This is a good round one hand though, you can't really argue with it. Should have ditched the rev though for the old uh, thingamajigger. Okay, that's good for us. Certainly a little bit late on my old entrances here, but. So I don't buff this up, right? It's just asking for trouble. Bowman gets it. Yo, Sarek, thanks for follow, appreciate it. Nice one, fella. Nice one, lads. Gonna be alive for like another 30 minutes or so. Let's go, man. This went well. These cards clutching, me, clutching the game for me, honestly. Let's do this as well. This was definitely wrong to keep in my hand. But it's good to have in my hand at this stage in the game now. Should win this game, right? Winning round one is really important with this list. This is bad. I think this is round two mulligan though. I never want this card in my hand in case of movement. So I'm looking for Igni, Voimir, Royal Decree. So I've just got an abundance of poison. Pella wouldn't be that bad either. This wasn't that bad, but I'm still expecting. Uh, I mean, there's no guarantee he's got any movement, right? I'm not sure they're playing Hawks. So this is a mulligan. This is good. This is okay. I mean, I just need to hit me, right? Decision between Temple Guard and, Ma and Mauler. I think it's always Mauler I keep. If he's got Hawk, that's the right play. Obviously, it plays my Visigard as well, so. I should win with this hand. Even with no Igni, which is a real shame. But Could have been an Adelaide on this, but I think it's always on this Draug. I don't see how I can really lose this game here. Against elves, it's normally just getting to round three. Obviously, the no, the fact that I've got no Igni is an incredible loss on points. There is a chance he goes to above 35 on a row, seeing as he's got Oak and, you know, it's Dead Eyes. So, I should not be too trigger happy in calling in my War Chariot, but obviously, if I get a nice movement piece, I'll probably just take it.
Why is he poisoning that then? That's pretty sketchy. Is he using that weird, uh, whatever card it's called, that deals things for damage? Uh, why, why this? Why not this? I guess he knows that I'm just moving this right, so this is his best t poison target. Does make sense. Imagine my man uses Igni as well. That would be kind of scary. That would be rather spooky. Watch out for chilling in the stream, everyone. I really appreciate the support. Hope you're enjoying it. Not going to be live for too much longer. I'm filming a video of Devil Driven. Relatively soon. Probably just get a quick bite to eat before I start that as well. Might be the last one, but I'll probably end up playing one or two more. Can I just play another soldier here, right? Can't have that much more poison then. Wouldn't surprise me if he Yavens or something there. There's the Yaven. So I take the Fallibor here. Back row Fallibor. Because I can still kill the other one. Rumpin' landing in the back row is probably good as well. I'd rather him turn into a Revenant, I think. I'm not expecting this to survive any longer. Again, War Chariot, I do need to be very careful with, right? At the moment, his back row is at 17 points already. So he did have the Hawk. Wow, you're killing Ronvid. All oh, right, so that means he's got no way of killing with this that he's comfortable with doing just at this moment. Pretty sure I'll just leave this for a while. It can only get oaked, right? Obviously, when he's down at... When I'm down to five cards, that, that's when I'd need to get my bleed value, right? I've obviously got Pella for Poison as well, potentially. And if it goes over 35 in a row, I've got the Igni, but it doesn't seem like he's row stacking that hard. Does Royal Decree trigger initiative of Igni? It does, yeah. So I'd have to, in order to Royal Decree for Igni, the row would have to be at 35, Poppy. Yeah, it's literally anything you do. Leader ability, uh, tutoring it. Using orders, anything at all. It has, you have to play it from your hand, first thing. In order for the initial, in order for it to be 20, 20 rather than 35, right? And yes. I mean, my Igni's... Looking pretty secure, right? Let's be honest. My Igni's pretty secure here. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he oaks me here. But, whatever. Can't really do anything about it. So I've actually got the 35 Igni right from Royal Decree, which is always nice. So it's, it's going to go Draug, Voimir, Visigard, Igni, I would imagine. Ouch. Hit the shield, let's go, man. Uh, I mean, this is a bit unfortunate. This is at one, but I don't think you can kill it. There's also still no guarantee, of course, that it hits 35. Imagine he's just going to oak the back, though, right? Surely. Not sure he's got. Well, he could two draw me, but then he can't two draw the back, so. Probably does two draw me here. Probably is the correct play.
Two rolls that row, really? That's weird. So I guess I'm in the front. I killed the hawk here, right? So is he running Triss last, sorry? Is that the uh, the giveaway of that play then? So Oak. I think I'm supposed to hit this. Oak's going to trigger... I haven't had a card. Uh, forgot about that. I hear for five because Oak's going to trigger Harmony, right? It's going to be well over 35. So. I mean, I'm massively far ahead. I just have to get to round three, really. I'm pretty sure I beat this with a hand like this. See, so yeah, there's the oak. I just lined everything up at six. <clears throat> Let's go, man. Creeping up, man. I'm pretty sure this is the best version of this deck, man. 